Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. Today's date is Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. The time is 4.50 a.m. here in... It's still dark outside Salem, Oregon. I do believe the temperatures today are supposed to be about 89 degrees or 32 Celsius with a low, I don't know, in the mid to higher 50s or about 13 Celsius. I am continuing my journey on Moonlight in the Garden from Craftably, and the artist is Bridget Bopp. The canvas is 30 by 24 inches, has 80 colors, which include nine ABs, four LZs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which is a drill with a special effect coating on them. They're great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. So I finished up this little border and the side over there. So now I am doing this little section. And I am loving this canvas. It's just really coming to life and the drills are really nice, sparkly. And yeah, it's really speaking to me. I've been lax on telling you about what records I've been listening to. Um, as you recall, I got a whole bunch of free records. So I've been making my way through them. And I don't have any that I didn't like, but the last few that I have here, I've liked these. So let me get them. And this is just my initial on these records. I am going to go through them again and weed some more out if I need to. Um, Donovan's Greatest Hits. Mellow Yellow, Sunshine Superman, Hurdy Gurdy Man. Remember all those songs? Um, this one is another k -tel, Gold Brush 79, and this is one that I'm just still kind of on the fence on. Um, let's see, History of British Rock, Tommy Rowe, oh my gosh, I remember him back in junior high, I think. Uh, 12 in a row, a collection of his greatest hits. Now, I think I might have heard of this guy before, but I'm not for sure. The Great Hits of Leroy Van Dyke. Now, he's country. Now, I did like this one. Charlie Pride Sings Heart Songs. This one, I'm on the fence, Lobo of a Simple Man. I briefly remember him. The best of Tommy James and the Shondells. 
Crimson and Clover is on that. And I remember in junior high, I loved that song, Crimson and Clover. And I had the 45 of it. And I would play it over and over and over again. So I'm just about through all the records. What I have left um, is some bigger collections that come in boxes and like seven or eight records in the box. And then some records that have never been opened. So that's all I have left. So I'm hoping to get through those today then I can make a run to the thrift store and donate um, the records that um, weren't my cup of tea. Yeah, I haven't been listening to records much this week. I don't know why, but I haven't. I guess because I've been busy. Um, yesterday, I ended up in the morning going a couple places for groceries. And, oh my gosh. You know, grocery shopping's gotten out of hand. The prices are just unbelievable. So, my son was going to go to Winko last night instead of tonight. And I said, I'm going to hitch a ride with you and check out their prices. And I did find some good prices there at Winko. That may be my go-to store now. Some things I can, a couple things I can get at Walmart that's a little cheaper, but oh my gosh, Walmart prices, the Walmart that I went to, they just redid the whole store. So I think they're passing those expenses on to the consumer. Just unbelievable. And there's only a few things, very few things, that I buy that are a little bit less expensive at the Walmart than at Winko. But for the majority, yeah, it's, I'm probably going to become a Winko shopper. Not for meat. I get my meat at Safeway, so... And DP Crazy Lady, notice I said the date right away. Just part of my intro. It's habit now, I think. I've been doing it that way for a long time. Also, DP Crazy Lady, I'm trying to hold my pen at a different angle more straight to help me with um, laying down the drills and I think I'm actually um, liking the way I'm holding it now versus the way I used to hold it It just takes practice. And when I get back to my round drills, I'm going to try it that way. It may be habit by then, but. It seems to be working out a little bit better for me. So thanks for that little tip. 
you know, no matter how long you've been diamond painting and there's always a way that you can try to see if the way somebody else does something is better for you. And like I've said a thousand times, I've always been a 30 by 40 centimeters gal and round drills. And I have done maybe two diamond paintings. When I first started diamond painting that were square. That I did not enjoy. I like the rounds and the specials. Special shapes. Those are my favorites. But these big canvases I'm really getting to like. I, I mean, I like them. Don't get me wrong. I love them. But they, um, I don't know how to explain this. They're a different mindset than the smaller canvases. And I know from different YouTube videos that I've watched. You know, I understand people not wanting to do these. They just want to stay with the smaller ones. Um, which is, number one, I didn't think I'd ever be able to afford a bigger canvas, which I still can't, but they are good to have in your arsenal a few um, because they are more of a challenge. And for me, I like to challenge myself every now and then, not too often, but as I'm doing, especially this one, I'm finding that I really do like the big canvases. They are a long-term project. But I think for me, you know, doing a large canvas and then maybe doing a few smaller ones will work out pretty good for me. It makes me feel more dedicated to the craft. Because I do love to diamond paint. And it is a good craft for people that, um, you know, do stay home and just want to have peace and quiet and not, you know, be out in the hustle and bustle of the world. Since I retired, I am more of a homebody. And I think it's just because I had to commute 
so far for me you know 50 miles one way 50 miles home for so so long that and working sometimes two jobs and never being home or you know not home that much that is just nice to <clears throat> Enjoy my little world now. And I, you know, besides diamond painting, I do other things around here. Today... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, let me take a drink of coffee. I have French vanilla today. I'm trying to finish off the last of the French vanilla so I can go back to my hazelnut. I did pick up some hazelnut at the store. For the month, so... Um, but anyway, today <clears throat> I am going to do some housework, mainly because I'm doing it a day early, mainly because I seem to be disorganized for some reason. So I need to get my house in order. Oh yeah, I'll just do the usual, clean in the bathroom, clean in the kitchen. And I keep my kitchen pretty clean, but I'm just wiping down the I um disinfect everything. Really good. Because I don't always do that after I'm done cooking. I mean, it's just me and Ellie, so. But I think I've done a little bit too much this week. And I'm a limping along on the old knee and ankle. Last night, after we got home... Um, Ellie and I, we got home about, I don't know, 6.30, 7 o'clock after shopping and put the groceries away and we're having these really pleasant evenings here where the temperature drops down really quickly. So, you know, at 7 o'clock it was down to in the probably upper 60s and we have that breeze a going and that is Ellie's kind of weather and so I sat outside with her and for I don't know half an hour 45 minutes she romped around and played and having a good time out there and, and she got a little tired, so we came in. I did a little bit of diamond painting. And then we went to bed about 8.30. We were getting tired. And then while I was sitting there diamond painting, my knee decided to act up. So I thought, okay, body's tired. To bed and Ellie always goes to bed at eight o'clock she gets into bed because she sleeps with me and she's on my side of the bed which she knows <clears throat> she gets on my side of the bed and will not move 
So I have to lure her out with her, what we call her night night cookies. Yeah. And she likes, lately, she's been wanting me to hide her cookies. So I think I talked about that before. I take her cookies and I hide them all over and she goes out and finds them. She loves that, that little game. Of course, she knows all the hiding spots, so she just goes around <laughs> and looks at all of them. It's funny to watch her. Yeah, yesterday morning, we... Before the sun really started coming up, we were outside. It was really nice out there. I had my coffee and um, Ellie was romping around and having a good time. When it starts getting hot, neither one of us like the heat. So, Plus the bees are out. So we try to get our outdoor time before the bees come out. Oh, and then last night we walked over to the apple trees and um, I picked up all the fallen apples and put them in the box for the horses. And Ellie um, wanders around in the fruit trees and goes over to the Farmer Glen's cherry orchard and sniffs around and so she has a good time out there. She she loves to sniff around and I have to watch her because so she doesn't start rolling in something. We have a lot of critters out here and I don't know what it is. If she smells the critters, she's got a roll in their scent or Hopefully it's not their poop. Because that would require me to give her a shower. So yeah, we did that. So that took about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So she got some sniffing time in. As soon as it cools down, we can go on our walks again. And when the there's nobody over there, I think the cherries are pretty much done now. So yeah, when it's cherry picking time, we can't go out and walk because there's so much uh, cars coming and going and um people out, you know, she, she'd be barking at him. Well, usually when she's on her leash, though, she doesn't bark at anybody. And, yeah, when we do those walks, she's put on her leash, but I have one of those retractable leashes, and it's, she can go quite a ways on that. And it's just because I don't know if any critters are out there. I don't think we have, like, porcupines out here. Um, because I know that that's not pleasant for a, a dog. And I there has been skunks out here. So yeah, she doesn't need to get sprayed. Where we used to live, there was a skunk and it sprayed. But luckily not on the dogs. But oh, yuck, the smell. Whew. 
was not pleasant. And we do have is it coyotes. They wander around and the deer. The deer usually only come out early morning or late at night. And of course they would run and of course Ellie would chase after them. So anyway, hence why the leash. But I do try to get her out several times a day and Let her run off some of her energy and so she doesn't get bored. I think that's all the teas. Unless you're screaming at me right there that I miss some. Yeah, so today is just going to be kind of a leisurely housework day. I'm going to be moving a little bit slower because I don't want, I got to rest my knee a little bit and my ankle. I broke my leg. Well, the first time I broke it, I fell off a wheelchair ramp and I fell, I don't know. How far down it was it wasn't that far but it, i i was carrying a bunch of stuff and there was no railing and i was jabbering away you know talking to my friends and stuff and i don't know i just turned and i fell off the the ramp um and of course i was carrying stuff and anyway i broke my leg i think it, they said, you know, five different places, plus um, my ankle, and so I was in a cast for a long time, <laughs> and then, I don't know, about 10 years later or so, I was cleaning the garage and the garage was wet and I slipped and fell on the cement and broke my same leg again so yeah I <laughs> so I, I pay for it now in old age So if I'm up moving and walking a lot and um, it'll start hurting and then I'm a limping, limping along. That's why I can only take short walks with Ellie. You know, probably about a half an hour. But you figure if you do a walk a half an hour, you know, a few times a day, that's okay. So my goal today on my diamond painting is to get this section done. My goodness, I'm at 30 minutes already. Ugh. I didn't even talk about anything. 
All right, well, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for stopping by and keeping me company while I diamond paint. I will chat with you all later.